The air conditioning system regulate and move cooled air throughout the building so that the temperature inside the building can be maintained. To find out how the air conditioning system cools the building temperature, we can see it from the picture of the inside of the building. We thank you for York, train, carrier, and the Baltimore Airfoil Company for providing us with the resources to make this video. There are three basic components of a building's air conditioning system. They are air handling unit, abbreviated as AHU. Next is chiller. The last one is cooling tower. Air handling unit is the equipment used to regulate the air temperature inside the building. Air handling units are usually only responsible for one floor. Larger floor areas have more than one air handling unit. Air handling unit works by sucking the existing air, called return air. A small portion of return air is discharged out of the building. This air is called exhaust air. While most of the return air is recirculated again, air handling unit then takes some outdoor air and mixing it with return air. Mixture of outdoor air and return air flow to the cooling coil. Low temperature water is entering the cooling coil, absorb heat from the air and become hotter. This cooling water is called chilled water. The chilled water temperature is 44 degrees Fahrenheit or 6.7 degrees Celsius. And when the chilled water absorb heat from the air, the chilled water temperature rise to 54 degrees Fahrenheit or 12 degrees Celsius. When the mixing air pass through the coil, the air temperature become lower. The air then filtered and called supply air. The supply air then redistributed using a ducting system and discharge throughout the grill. You can see a lot of air conditioning grill on the ceiling. The supply air then mixing with the existing room air and regulate the building's air temperature. Why the air handling unit is removing some return air while takes some outdoor air mixed with return air. Isn't it simpler if we just using all the return air only? You can find the answer at the end of this video. The air handling unit is connected by two water pipes. The light blue pipe for the chilled water inlet, which is used to cool the air. The red pipe for the chilled water outlet, which is hotter as it absorbs heat from the air passing through the coil. These two pipe flows from and to the chiller. Chiller is the equipment used to produce chilled water which is flowed to the air handling unit. There are two types of chiller. Air cooled chiller. And water cooled chiller. Air-cooled chiller removes heat from the chilled water using outdoor air directly. Air-cooled chiller is usually placed at the top of the building. Water-cooled chiller use another water called condenser water to remove heat from the chilled water. Water-cooled chiller or water chiller in short, is usually placed at the basement. In this video we are using a water chiller as an example.
Water-cooled chiller has two metal tanks connected with a compressor. The tank below is called evaporator. This is where chilled water is cooled. The tank above is called condenser. This is where the heat transferred to the condenser water. How does the water-cooled chiller transfer heat from chilled water to condenser water? The process is as follows. The chilled water enters the evaporator tank with a temperature of 54 degrees Fahrenheit or 12 degrees Celsius. Inside the tubes, chilled water releases its heat and the temperature drops. Chilled water flows out with a temperature of 44 degrees Fahrenheit or 6.7 degrees Celsius. This heat is absorbed by refrigerant where the temperature is lower. So, the refrigerant boils and evaporates. A compressor is used to increase the refrigerant pressure. According to the material characteristics of the refrigerant, when the refrigerant is compressed, its temperature will increase. The high temperature refrigerant is blown into the condenser tank. The condenser water enters the condenser tank with a temperature of 85 degrees Fahrenheit or 29 degrees Celsius. The refrigerant condenses as it flows on the cooler surface of the condenser tubing. Inside the tubing, Condenser water absorbs the heat from the refrigerant because its temperature is lower. The temperature of the condenser water will increase. The condenser water flows out with a temperature of 95 degrees Fahrenheit or 35 degrees Celsius. The liquid refrigerant in the condenser tank flows back to the evaporator tank. There is an expansion valve to maintain the pressure different between evaporator tank and condenser tank. The hot condenser water is then pumped to the cooling tower at the top of the building. Cooling tower is the equipment to cool the temperature of condenser water and dissipate the heat to the outside air. Cooling tower work by sucking outside air from below and flowing upward. As air flow upwards, the internal cooling water is sprayed downward. The condensed water is flowing inside the tubing with a temperature of 95 degrees Fahrenheit or 35 degrees Celsius. The water spray wet the condenser tubing, absorb heat from condenser water and evaporate. The temperature of condenser water drops to 85 degrees Fahrenheit or 29 degrees Celsius and recirculated back to the chiller. It's all about how the building air conditioning system works. Regarding the question about exhaust air and outdoor air of air handling unit. The answer is that the building air must not only remain cool and clean, but must also comfort for breathing. The existing air needs to be replaced with fresh air from outside. Or ventilation in short. Thank you. If you like the video, please click like and subscribe.